guys, for today, I'll be in voiceover mode because I'm going to share my Notion workspace. So over the past few weeks, I've been fixing my Notion non-stop and I honestly don't know how to be organized without it anymore. So if you're not yet familiar with Notion, it is basically a digital planner that helps you organize your tasks. And to be honest, I was kind of intimidated to use Notion at first because I knew it had all these tools and being the perfectionist that I am, I just instantly knew that it will probably take me a few weeks to finish setting up my pages, which is what actually happened. <laughs> anyway, I used Notion to dump my creative ideas in, may it be for school or for work. It has helped me to stay productive and organized, plus I love to decorate the pages with GIFs and cute little icons, which I guess makes it my digital journal as well. I'm pumped to say that this video is sponsored by Notion and you can sign up for free using the link in my description box below. I'll also leave a link of my template in case you guys want to use it as well for your Notion setup. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into my Notion tour. First off, here is my Notion dashboard slash homepage. I went with a coffee shop theme because I love to chill and study at cafes. The color palette of this page has got to be my favorite. I guess it's kind of inspired by the interiors of some of my favorite cafes that I've been to. Anyway, here on the left side is where you'll find the sidebar. And these are the pages that I've created so far. Notion also has available templates that you can use for your digital setup, which can save you a lot of time since you just have to modify and customize it however you'd like to. Now for my icon, as you guys know, I love matcha. So of course, I had to make my icon a matcha latte because this page is a coffee shop, all right? <laughs> I love that Notion has this feature where you can customize your pages with emojis. Like, I mean, come on. This emoji actually fits the theme of this page, but you know, we're gonna to keep the matcha latte so if you want to undo just press ctrl z or command z to return the previous icon back if you also want to customize your own icon just search up pixel art png gif on pinterest and you'll find a lot of cute little icons to choose from just copy the image address and then go back to notion paste the link and ta-da you've got your very own unique icon. The same process applies to customizing your header, but once again, there are lots of stock photos available that you can choose from. Alright, as you can see, I used a lot of widgets because they're just so cute and they complete the layout of the page. Up here, I have a heading that says a cup of matcha plus some thinking equals great ideas, which is true. I can tell you that. <laughs> and then I added a quote beneath it because this can serve as a reminder as well. So here I have a weather widget. And then beside it, I have a calendar widget so I can see the month in a glance. It's already September. Oh my gosh, 2023 is fast approaching. And then I have a countdown widget that I have yet to update. Lastly, I have a clock widget. And yes, I am filming this at 11 p.m. Oh hey, it's 11.11. Make a wish. <laughs> All of my widgets are from Indify and Widget Box. So first, I'll show you how to create a weather widget. So go to indify.co and select create a weather widget. Here you can customize it and, you know, just first add your location and choose your preferred units. Choose how many number of days you want the widget to display. It can be a week, five days, three days, two days. It's really up to you. Here you'll see more tools and this is where you can change the font color. Copy this link once you're done and then go back to Notion. Scroll down and look for the embed button and then paste the link and you have your very own weather widget. Now, if you want a calendar widget, just go to widget box and here you can see that you can also customize the calendar background and even the text color of the font. So yeah, it's really up to you how you want to play around with this. You can also add the border and make its edges rounded. Once you're done, just copy the link and go back to Notion and you guys know the drill. Search up the embed button, paste the link and ta-da! You have your very own calendar widget. Moving on. These two images are actually GIFs that I found on Pinterest. I just copied the image addresses and embedded the link once again. I think it adds a bit of flair to my Notion. 
down here I have the directory wherein I just added some links of the other pages that I created so that it'll be easy for me to access. I have a life page, a college page, and a work page which I'll get into in a while. Right below it, I have a study playlist from Spotify that I just embedded on here so I can listen to some tunes while studying or say I'm in a cafe. This will come in handy and it's the perfect playlist to listen to. And right in the middle, I have a life progress bar widget but I actually Really turned it into a year progress bar slash countdown i guess then this is my daily to-do list i just jotted down some tasks that i plan to do on a daily basis and then i found this adorable puppy's gif on pinterest that i used as a divider for my page ah how cute is that anyway down here for the bottom part of my dashboard i have a table about cafes and i just use this to keep track of my favorite ones and if they have like wi-fi and plugs you know Throughout my Notion, you'll see a lot of tables because I love organizing my thoughts and plans and being able to customize them with colors is a plus point. Then I have two counters over here that I used to keep track of my coffee and matcha intake. I think this is a fun way to do it. I just reset this every start of the month. Moving on to the life page, I like to look at this area as the digital journal of my notion. I chose this image for my header because it reminded me of this verse which is Matthew 6, 28 and I also added it on the top of the page to remind me that rest is necessary for growth. Anyway, here's a quick overview of the page. Here on the left side, I have a list of essentials that I need to buy and I just added some check boxes so that I can easily track the ones that I've already gotten. If you click on the box, it immediately crosses out the text which I think is satisfying for some reason. Next, we have personal and this is just where I added some links to my other pages such as current goals, habit tracker, devotions, and wish list. I'll get into these later. And then over here, I added a photo that I once again got from Pinterest. And then there's a quote here that says, Taking the time to rest is also productive. Then this is my daily schedule that I plan to incorporate starting this September because I really want to fix my body clock. But yeah, I'll try not to pressure myself too much. Oh, and if you want to make your text look like this, just select this little mark as code button and change the colors to make it look cute or something. You can do so much in Notion, I swear. <laughs> it's so fun. Moving downwards, I have another counter widget, but this time it's a laugh counter. <laughs> I don't know if it's, you know, useful or whatever, but it just adds a spark of joy to this page. And then here are some quick links to my other rooms slash pages. And lastly, over here at the left side, I have a little vision corner where I can just jot down some visions I've received from God so that I won't forget. And by visions, I mean life lessons or realizations that I believe God has given me through experiences and encounters with people. Going back to my personal links, this is my current goals page and I just made the layout very simple and straight to the point. This is where I create little goals I have for myself right now. One of them is to reach 100k subscribers before the year ends. Oh my gosh, I would literally cry but you know it's okay if i don't reach it but i hope i do ah! <laughs> then i created the habit tracker which hopefully i won't forget to update every day i have this on full width so that i can add multiple table columns but yeah i just customized the headings or the titles based on what i want to track the first column contains the days of the month and the headings of the following columns are just some tasks that i wish to accomplish daily for my mood tracker i literally added six options just because i had too much fun using colors to basically do describe my mood. By the way, this table is added inside a toggle button so that I can close it if I want to have like a neat space and I'll just duplicate it once another month is about to begin. And then I have a devotions page where I plan to write down some verses that I might want to add to my future vlogs and chapters I want to study on my own. But honestly, I don't think I'll be using this page as often as the others because I usually do my devotions on a physical 
Devo notebook. But yeah, this will come in handy if I'm like, for example, studying a commentary and would want to copy paste a phrase or maybe save a link for future reference. And lastly, my wish list page, which is very much self explanatory. These are just some stuff that I'm eyeing for and would love to have one day. I mean, I badly need a standing desk. I hope stands can sponsor me. Anyway, yeah, this is my life page. It's just very homey and the vibes over here are just very calm and relaxed, which is why I love this area of my notion so much. Now moving on to the next page, which is all about college and school stuff. This area has all of my school tasks written down and organized. The GIFs and photos I used for this page are once again from Google and Pinterest. And yeah, I just modified this page and designed it to fit my course, which is interior design. First off, I have this database over here that I modified into a gallery view to organize my classes. I just finished the second semester and I only took up two classes because I've taken up the rest already. But yeah, let me know if you guys would want like a mini Q&A about my course and my experiences and stuff. The third semester is fast approaching, so stay tuned for more stuff vlogs this month so this pop-up page is where i keep track of my freehand drawing one class and i customized these buttons here i finished this class already so let's update the status to done i already received my final grade as well and i got an uno i'm so happy all right down here i added the schedule of the class and some links of our google drives where we submit our plates and stuff and then i have a to-do list over here so that i can keep track of the plates that i need to do for this class i finished all of them already so i'll move it to my archive folder it's another page that i created and it kind of works as my trash bin and the other class that i just finished was accounting so for this pop-up page it has the same layout and everything i also added a link of the archive page so that i can easily transfer some finished tasks over there and yeah if i have a new class i'll just have to click new and as you can see it already has the template that i've created which makes it easy for me to customize and add in my little you know notes and stuff then right here in the middle area i have my monthly calendar this is a widget from indify i added a quote here again because i love the quote feature of notion and then below it i have another spotify playlist but this time it's the study like rory gilmore playlist because i love gilmore girls then there's another gif right here and the term break countdown widget that i need to update again below i have some more quick links and a quick notes area which kind of serves as my digital post-it note because this is where i can write some important tasks or to-do lists and yeah it's necessary for me to have little areas like these in my notion pages because i need to have a space to quickly jot down some thoughts and whatnot moving down i use this image as a page divider and right below it i have another bible verse i think i added reminders on all areas of my notion well that's because in all areas of my life god is present and so this table right here is just an overview of my school works that i finished which is why it's already labeled as completed i can switch up from a table view to a board view and even a calendar view to change the style but i prefer the table view because it looks more neat and yeah this is my study space Lastly, we have the work area of my Notion. This is my YouTube space. Also, look at my cute bread icon. Ah, this GIF is so adorable. Even my header is so cute. It's a pixel art of a girl looking over at the city. And I just use this as a vision, you know, to keep the vision in front of me. Because like I've mentioned before, I want to live in the city one day. But honestly, my dream, like my biggest dream of all time is to just move to Singapore, you know, to live there, to work work there ah, one day one day <laughs> anyway here's an overview of the page i just made it simple so that i can easily view my tasks without any distractions and then this table is my video planner the first column contains the video titles and then i have the sponsor column you know if the video has paid sponsorship then i have x deals which is like collaborations with brands 
and then the status of the video which I color coordinated per agenda and then review date if I need to send the video to a sponsor for them to review it and lastly the publish date right now I'm currently filming my notion tour so the status is on filming but once I start editing this I'll just update it to editing little things like this makes me so happy I swear I love notion so much and then these are some videos that I plan to create soon and currently it's labeled as planning then I have this photo that says you can try again tomorrow and then right next to it is my content calendar that has the same database as the table above but this time it's in a calendar view. This makes it easy for me to see the contents that I have planned for the month. Over here are a bunch of links that I added for easy access. First we have work stuff. I have a page for brands and one for finance. So first let's go to my brands page and yeah this is where I conceptualize my brand slash sponsor integrations usually some brands ask for an outline draft and so i create my drafts in here and then i'll just transfer it later on to microsoft word so that i can export it as a pdf file and send it to the sponsor i also create little scripts as a guide so that i won't forget some key points that i want to talk about then i have my finance page which is divided into three parts in here i keep track of my youtube revenues sponsor money and my expenses so for my youtube database i labeled the headings by the month and then the amount of revenue i received for that month and then the conversion amount into philippine peso and then the tax and status if i'm yet to receive or have received the payment already then for the next table which is where i keep track of my sponsor money it has the same layout as the youtube table but i just changed the first column's heading into sponsor and then like i said i didn't change the following columns anymore we still have amount conversion tax and status of the payment although for the options of this one i switched it up to paid and scheduled lastly this is where i jot down my expenses i'll write down the name of the item that i recently got and then the amount also what's cool about this table is that it can automatically calculate the total expenses for you which is a very useful tool you can also modify this database like maybe you want to only keep track of your august expenses and then you can just duplicate this table once another month is about to begin okay going back to our work page here are some quick links to my other pages and then beneath it are my media links and if you're wondering how to add links to a text just select the text itself and paste your social media url over here and ta -da, it's now linked so i have my youtube my pinterest and twitter accounts linked on here because these are my most visited socials whenever i'm on my laptop then lastly these are some editing links that i always open whenever i'm on editing mode first we have copy paste symbols which is just a website that has a bunch of icons then there's thematic which is where i get my non-copyrighted songs for my videos and then I have a link of a Google Drive folder which is named transfers because this is where I literally transfer all my graphics that I do in my iPad and then I'll save it here on my laptop via this folder. Below, I have a little to-do list that I need to get done ASAP. That's pretty much it for my work page. And yeah, that's what my Notion setup currently looks like. I'll most probably explore some more features of Notion and add widgets here and there because like I said, it's also my digital journal. So I'm going to be editing this every once in a while. Once again, if you wish to use my template, the link will be in the description box and you can just go ahead and click the three dots to duplicate it. Thank you again so much to Notion for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you guys soon on my next one. Bye! When I'm with you, that's not a lot high Maybe you could be my solace Only my truth